Hello and welcome to the foodie. If I asked you after Mughlai and Punjabi food, what is the favorite cuisine of every Indian? You would say it's Chinese food. Yes, Chinese food is all over the place. You can get it on the road, you can get fusions of Chinese food, and you can get your own version of homemade Chinese food. But I am doing an experiment on this episode today. We're going to take an expert Chinese chef from the Shanghai Club at the ITC Grand Central in Mumbai and take him on the streets of Mumbai to indulge, taste and give his uh, opinion on Chinese food on the streets. So come with me as we go and meet Chef Yang. Come along. I'm at the Shanghai Club at the ITC Grand Central in Mumbai with me, Chef Yang. Chef, Chef Yang is an expert on Chinese food, Chinese authentic food. Chef, tell me one thing. Have you eaten Chinese food on the streets of any city in India? I had, I had in Hyderabad one time, even uh. in Chennai also. Mumbai, I had a Chinese restaurant. Really? Yeah. Good, good. So, yeah. on this episode, I'm very interested in one, taking you to the streets of Mumbai, making you eat some oh, Chinese good food. Idea. And then I'd like to come back to the Shanghai Club okay. and then make you do something really nice for us. Good, good. Good? Yes. God, that's a Let's great go. thing. Let's go. Chalo. So, chef, chalo? <laughs> okay, chef is going to say chalo. <laughs> chef speaks Hindi, huh? Thola, thola. Thola, thola? Let's go. It's called Savant Home Food. Since you can't read Marathi, I will tell you it's called Savant. And they have a fantastic menu. Let's have a look at this menu. Chef, yeah. ever heard of lollipop fry oil back home in China? Uh, no. <laughs> no. But, uh, Chicken manchur is a very Indian dish, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I think we should sit down, order some nice local Chinese food, and let Chef sample it. Yeah? Okay. Okay, okay. let's go. Chef, let's, let's see what he's cooking up, yeah? Uh. Come, 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 this side. Fried rice, uh, huh? Yeah. Egg fried rice. You put eggs in it. Ready, 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 ready. Chef, we are doing India's famous chicken chili now. Okay. Yeah? And you must taste it. And tell yes, me which yes. one is better. Ours or yours back home in China. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, half done. Yeah. Half done, deep again. fried. And let's put a variety of sauces. There's soya sauce gone in, chili sauce oh, gone yes. in. I've heard head of the sauce. Maybe yeah. some secret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Noodles. Noodles. Oh, okay. Noodles. Chicken. So chef, yeah. our Indian banquet is ready for you. I'm not sure how Chinese this is, but all of us back over here love it. Uh, this is a little green color. Mm. Our chili chicken is a brown color. Brown color, because oh. soya and all that. How does it compare to food, authentic Chinese food? Our oh, color light. We use uh, soy sauce. Okay. More. It's a brown, light brown color. This is a little red color. I think uh, more chili, chili oil inside. More chili oil, yeah. yeah. I think chef is liking this food, huh? Chicken lollipop. Chef is loving the food. I'm so happy for that. So we're back at the Shanghai Club. I bet Chef has had a great time on the streets of Mumbai trying out some authentic Indian Chinese food. But it's now time for us to have some fun. For that, we're going to ask Chef to cook up something that is up his sleeve, something that is nice and authentic Chinese. I first make one very common in China. This is a tofu salad. Tofu salad. Also, the tofu contains a lot of protein, veg protein. High protein. Uh, high protein. And uh, uh, even calcium. Calcium. Oh, calcium. calcium. Yes, it's good for vegetarian that uh, 
good uh, nutrition. Tofu, silicon tofu, cut in the small cube. Small cube. Uh, first, mm -hmm. the brown yolk. And the uh, scallion. Mm -hmm. And the chili. Also finely chopped. Chili as you wish. The adding salt. Mm -hmm. And the sesame oil. Sesame oil. And uh, the chili also as you wish. If you like uh, spicy, I like you can. Put the chili oil. Stir it. A wonderful tofu salad with spring onions, coriander leaves, and chili oil. Yes. Chili oil. Chili oil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
put the baking uh, the pepper powder. Pepper powder. Little salt. Light soy sauce. Ginger, chopped spring onions, and this one is chopped zucchini. If chopped zucchini, yes. Oh, okay. Even you can change to another vegetable. Instead of oh. zucchini, you can using like a chopped onion. Mm -hmm. Any can, vegetables yes. chopped. Yes. Now this is going to be the stuffing for the dim sum. Ah, dim sum. Yes, chopped uh, coriander. coriander yes. Chopped coriander. These are the stems which are being chopped. Oil. Sesame oil. Sesame oil for the flavor. After making the dim dumplings. So the stuffing is ready, and we're going to start making the dumplings. Chef, what is this? Maida. Okay, maida. Maida. And this is the this this is the uh, maida dough. Maida dough. Only water with uh, uh, flour with water. A little harder than a roti chapa. So chef had kneaded the dough, kneaded the dough well again, made it into a nice long tube, and now is cutting small pedas, if I may call it that. Out of that, which will form the individual dumplings. Two at one time. Yes. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Superb. Oh, see what lovely thin ones you've made. Now. I'm going to try my hand in one and see oh, if I okay. can. Okay. Well, I don't have the speed that you have, but I'm going to try. Yeah, nice, nice. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> this way is uh, like a roti. O only uh, thing, mine is not no. as round as yours, <laughs> but. So now, 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 what happens? Now you stuff some of that in this, or what? Yes, yes. Huh? I show you some simple one. I hope we no need a okay. very confused one. We just a simple one, two sides open even. Two sides no, open? Yes, yes, you can. Oh, let me try this. Looking nice. Yeah, okay. you have a talent. You Now you <laughs> can change the line. I'll, co I'll, co I'll come and ask for a job. <laughs> Huh? Chef Yang, can I walk into your kitchen? Yeah, yeah good, good. A little difficult to pass. It's a little difficult. <laughs> it's a little difficult, though. It's very difficult for me. It's a little off. Ta da! <laughs> I'm making another one also. Okay. Another design, another design. After yeah. this, I will retire. So we've got one modak, one karanji over here, and one paratha. So we've got a variety of these designs ready for the dumplings. Now we've got to pan fry them, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Let's but do this is a half a pan fry, the half a like a steaming. Oh, uh, the, after cooking, uh -huh. the dumpling bottom part uh -huh. is uh, crispy. Top part is steam. Adding oil. Yes. For non sticky, just now I placing the dumpling inside. Chef's planning to add water to it. Then use the lid to cover the pan. And you cover them. Chef, I want to ask you something. We've shut this now, okay? How long did you say this will take? Take uh, four or five minutes. Four or five minutes. 
Will the mince also cook? Yes. It will cook in four yes, five minutes. Because uh, the bottom getting pan fried. Okay. Up because you see the steaming. Mm -hmm. Uh, five minutes is enough. You, you try, you try. Okay, yeah. great. This sounds great. Patience for four minutes and we'll open this. Oh, my. You see the color? i show you the color. Yeah. Yes. The bottom is nice and crisp and brown. And the top is steamed and white. Our dumplings are ready, the rest of the food is ready, and I am ready as well to eat. <laughs> Chef, I must say this is looking all very nice. So on that note, I must say cheers to you. Uh, yeah, cheers. Cheers, Chef. I'm going to start with the tofu salad. With the tofu salad. Okay. Mm. So I'm getting this soft, tender silkiness of the tofu, the crunch of the of the spring onions, and then the kick of the chili oil. Oh, lovely. Now I think I'm going to attack the chicken. Very light, less oil. Yeah, and very healthy to eat. I can see that there's just so much coriander in this chicken that in every morsel that I put in my mouth, I'm going to get a big sprig of coriander. Mmm, great flavor, lovely aroma. Very nice, the chicken is tender actually. Mmm, please try the dumplings. This one you made it. Oh, I made it, so I made it. Okay. I made it, so I made it. Not, not China, like home style. Dim sum sauce. And this is the dim sum sauce. Yes. Let's dig into some of this dim sum. Pan fried. The most ingenious method that I have seen. First pan frying it and then steaming it in the same pan. Mm. Is it juicy? Mmm. Very nice. It's an authentic Chinese food. Like authentic this. Chinese food. <laughs> Not like the street. Authentic oh, yeah. Chinese food. I was wondering whether the meat inside would cook in just four or five minutes. The meat inside is cooked, it's soft, it's beautifully spiced. The dumpling is crisp at the bottom, yeah. soft on the top, perfect. Great. Chef, I know you've laid out some wonderful basa over there and some noodles and some yeah. greens and some rice. I'm going to eat that, but before that, I want to thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It's been a thank pleasure. Uh, pleasure, pleasure going out on the streets with you. Uh, a yeah. pleasure making you taste some of our Chinese food on the streets. Yeah. And greater pleasure for the wonderful food that you've taught us and uh, fed us today. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Please keep coming. That brings us to the end of this episode of The Food. If you want to write to us, write to us at weekendattimes.tv. We're also on Facebook from Chef Yang and me. It's bye.